Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. In 2016, I was hitting the gym really hard and seeing some huge improvements in muscle building, but I decided to put 315 on squats and I was not ready for that. I uh, basically did my sets, did pretty good. When I went to rack the weight, I popped backwards and uh, hurt my disc between L5 and uh, S1. So uh, six years later, I am still hurt but I finally decided to do something about it. There's three different things that I've been doing to hopefully improve my back. And for the past month and a half, I have been doing these every day and I have seen some great results. So just wanted to share those with you here today. Now keep in mind, I am not a physical therapist. I'm just a uh, guy with a YouTube channel. So keep that in mind. But these three things have helped me to improve my back pain. The first thing that I do is decompression. If you've got a chin up bar, hang from that and let your spine just relax. I often have two spots in my low back that will pop and it's just uh, relieving that pressure. So if you don't have a chin-up bar, I don't here at the house, I use the corner of my kitchen here to push up on and that will relieve my back pressure. So let me do that real quick. I'll put my mic on my back so you can probably hear it pop a couple of times. Dang. Take my hands on both sides of this gap and I just push up, letting my low back relax and pop. Do that for a second or two, let loose, and then do it a couple more times just to make sure that I've let my back uh, relax. That first step I've been doing for about six years and it's good for the momentary relief but doesn't seem to be helping with the long-term healing. And so the next two steps I've been doing for about two months and it has really improved my pain. So uh, this next one is critical. I believe that I have been compensating for my low back pain by uh, flattening my back but this is returning that arch to the low back and getting rid of that flat back. So I lay flat on my stomach, put my hands up under me here, and then I just push up. And I let my, uh, my glutes relax, and I just squeeze that low back, and then I relax for a second, and then do that several times. I find that it takes me about 15 seconds to actually relax my low back. So uh, this right here is, helping out more than anything else I've done by just uh, bringing back that arch in the low back. Decompressing the spine has been helping with the momentary relief, just pushing up on something. I've also noticed that if I can twist in certain directions, it will relieve that pain as well. So the second thing that I've been doing is arching the back and that has been helping the most to improve my back. And the third thing is a company called Tomp sent me a massager and I have been using this thing first thing in the morning to get the low back and loosen things up and then right before I go to bed as well. And uh, it has helped out so much with decompression and the arching of the back because my muscles are already loose. So um, for the sake of this company, let's go ahead and go over the stuff that comes in this package. Uh, I'm probably gonna get one of these for a family member of mine that's also having some uh, muscle problems. So I've enjoyed it and it has worked out really well. This massager has multiple different attachments. This one I use some, it kind of goes well around the spine but doubles your surface area for the amount of massaging you can do. This one right here is really good for sore muscles. I played three hours of volleyball the other day and uh, this was really helpful on my uh, legs. So this is the one I use the most. It really uh, pinpoints the pain. And then this one right here that's already on it um, is just kind of a flatter one similar to that, but I don't use it as much. Uh, it also comes with a USB-C charging cable. So one charge will last about a week if you do five to 10 minutes of massaging a day. Um, so you just charge it down here on the bottom. And then it has three different settings. So you hold down the power button and that's the low, medium, and high. I typically stick with the medium setting. Uh, seems to work really well. Um, but there's very little vibration in the actual tool itself and it's all over here that really uh, hits those muscles good. Now it's recommended that you not uh, touch bone with this, uh, just stick with the muscles. To 
change out an attachment. You give that a pull and then put a new one on there. I've had no problems with these coming off randomly. Uh, actually, it's kind of the opposite. It's hard to get these off of here, which I'm sure is good for a safety thing. I know watching this is about as fun as watching paint dry, but um, yeah, just take the massager, stick it back here, and you can run that along the spot that has the uh, tight muscles. And for me, it's right there along the spine, just up and down on both sides. Now at 10 minutes, this thing will auto off, and that's a good indicator that you've uh, got to get up and do something practical. I highly recommend that you don't put your fingers between the attachment and the uh, massager because it will uh, hurt a lot if it pinches you there. I've been using this for about five minutes a time, twice a day, and I've stuck with this attachment here because it really pinpoints my muscles. Um, so I'll have a link to this in the description down below. Uh, besides that attachment, whenever I was so sore from playing volleyball, I used the foam and uh, it took probably two minutes before I uh, could tolerate even that. Um, so that thing is really good. One last tip that I have discovered over the past couple of years that has helped improve my low back pain is that uh, first thing in the morning, I go to the kitchen and grab a nice tall glass of water and start my day off right by drinking that much water. Uh, I guess dehydration is a big key factor in my back pain. I just wanted to mention these things to you. If you watch some of my videos, you'll notice that uh, I will grab a knee whenever I bend over to get something. And that's because I have been protecting my low back from uh, seizing and grabbing and having so much pain. Uh, a couple years ago, I was uh, so bad off that I couldn't even grab a knee and bend over. I would actually have to take a knee, you know, put one knee on the ground, grab whatever I was getting, and then uh, force my way back up. Uh, so I have seen some improvement, but I really wasn't doing any, I guess, rehab work. And so now doing this massage gun and then arching my back, uh, I have seen some big improvements. I always thought, man, I've already got so much uh, curve in my back uh, with scoliosis, but it turns out I had curve more of the uh, mid back and then here was like flat. So it was like, like that instead of like that. Um, so uh, go to a physical therapist or a chiropractor and let them tell you well, what you need to do. So don't just take my advice here because your back may be completely different. But for me, I'm having to put that uh, curve back in my low back and it has been making a big difference. Anyway, I'm Seth of Flanda House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.